Yeah, walk away. I'm not for. Who is that? A guy this you're on a date with? Wait, this is the guy you're talking to? Which guy no, you talking about? No, I am. Okay. Maybe daddy? You want to talk to the Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, you want to talk to the You're going to. Wait. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, oh he, he can wait, give it to you raw and uncut. Wait, wait but I don't know. See, but the whole time you don't even like being I'm, on social media. Yeah, but you're saying you, you bring this to my dad. Okay, so wait. And you I, I told you that side. I was gonna get on here. Right, exactly. So let me finish this. Let me finish this interview. And then I'm gonna get right back to you. Oh, we're gonna have some problems in the car, baby. Watch. So listen. <laughs> but wait, 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 hold on. It's not a date. You no, it's not a date. Right it's not a date. This is some make. Some happened last night. He wanted to make this by taking me out because I love food. You a tourist. You love food too, Kendra. A few moments later. Have y'all ever had sex? Have y'all ever had sex with the guy you're talking nasty. to right now? <laughs> the guy you're with. Of I have. have you ever slept with him? So it's a date. So you're on because a date no, looking for another no, guy. No, 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 Miss Kendra, listen. One thing wondering? I'm not going to do is for one, because I know how you are. I the audacity and the disrespect of this woman. It kind of reminds me of the situation when women use men for a free meal by going on these supposed dates with good, hardworking men. If you see me at a different restaurant with different ninjas, <laughs> a date with somebody for the first time is not like a date for somebody for the first time 20 years ago. Right. right. And you not gonna pay. What you mean? You invited me out and you can't pay? Cause you broke and you ain't got no money. It's crazy. When you go out on a date with somebody, you have to be on your tippy toes, and if it's going bad, be like, "Hey, where you going? Pay for the goddamn phone! Pay for the damn phone!" All this at the expense of a man's time and the underappreciation, the lack of appreciation, just plain out disrespect. The work that the man had to do to earn that cold hard cash. This woman doesn't care what the man is going through. She's doing what she can to devalue the man in front of the whole internet to see. The lack of respect is astounding. I'm not wasting your time. Cause I literally sit here and I say, I'm about to get back on Kendra's show. Cause we going through some sh You laughing so hard cause you trying to embarrass me. But that's fine. Cause you're hating on me so bad. You are a hater like you are a hater. Yeah, walk your ass off cause you hating so bad. You, he's hating on me. Cause he already know one thing about me, one thing, one thing for sure, two things for certain. I'm a bomb ass woman. What? Stop the cap. Ain't got nothing to do with looks. I'm talking about with cooking. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. I'm talking about with business, my job. I'm talking about tapping in, have my own money, have my own place, townhouse, my car. Everything I got is on my own. Stop the cap. <laughs> no more. I'm bomb as what, what, He laughing because he trying to show out. He trying to show out. He trying to embarrass me, and it's cool. But I was real. I'm so raw with it. Like I said right here, I wasn't being sneaky. I said, look, I'm going on Kendra's show. I'm going back on her show. You're mad at me because I said that women keep focusing on tall, dark, and handsome with a big penis and six figures, and they're passing up the good guy, the nice guy that wants to take you out. Why should we have to settle, Kendra? We should have somebody on our level. Well, let me share with you guys from whole single dating show for the last three years. Okay, so every night I might get 100 single women who are looking for a relationship. Most of these women want committed relationships. Out of those 100 women, I may get 10. If I have 100 single women and 10 men, automatically every woman is not gonna get a man. Just from that right there, okay? There's not enough. Now, out of the 100 women, let's say out of those 10 men, there's only really two men that the 100 women really want to date. So now we have 100 women with two men. Right there, every woman is not going to get a man. Now, this man is living in heaven. It's two men and 100 women want to date him. What is he going to do? He's going to pick and choose because he can. He has the options to do so. Now, there's the brutal reality that females in this era of contrived luxury and convenience that we've made have to accept. Just because you are biologically wired and socially and physically in need of a competent, valuable protector and provider that 
doesn't mean you actually qualify for one. Greetings, you polite savages, and welcome to another Tip Talk. You know, the term arrested development means an abnormal state in which development has prematurely stopped. And I must say that a lot of ladies who come on the Kendra G single show, and Kendra G will tell you this herself, you can tell by the look in that woman's face when she's talking to her. A lot of folks are suffering from arrested development when they come in. You see, you get to see all the typical modern woman tropes. Oh, I'm a boss, babe. I got this. I got that. I bring this. I bring that. Saying all the things that dudes don't really care about when they're selecting a mate. I mean, you have women on there who said they're big bones when they're really just overweight. You have women literally out on dates calling in, trying to find someone while they're out on a date with somebody. I mean, the bottom line is this show is an absolute hot mess. It is, and it has become a nighttime soap opera, PM drama, a reality show. When was the last time you was intimate with a guy? You don't have to answer. Um, today. Bruh. She belongs to the streets. Who'd you have sex with today? Um, somebody that I'm dating. So are you looking for more people to date? No, I'm looking for Mr. Right. You had sex with a guy today that you're dating. So why can't this guy, what's wrong with him to be your boyfriend? Nothing. He haven't asked me. Then why are you sleeping with him? Because I was, you know, I have needs. Oh, well, you told us you didn't have to. Hey, us, you didn't have to. Hey, Who was that in the background? We saw a guy. Who was that in the background? Who's that in the background? Speak. You can talk. You've been talking to me the whole time. I have. I, I told you all why. That's the guy you had sex with today? Wow. <laughs> wow. No, 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 so, you, no. so the guy you had sex with today is in your house and you're on my show looking for a new guy? I'm on your show to tell you that I'm single and if, you know, I find- You're on my show to look for a new guy because that's what this show is about. Get out of here. You, you can't, can't make this shit up. up. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. <laughs> no, look, look. The Housewives of Kendra G. It has become and it should be a BET Plus special. What I'm saying is that this has become one of the most ratchet experiences, Walmart Tisha in the house that you can actually witness. And I have to say, all races and all classes of people are getting in on it. So how come, how is this happening? And the real question is how long, yes, how long can Kendra G stand it? Because any reasonable individual, any reasonable, air breathing mammal would have to say at one point this has become absolutely ridiculous at least on the thicker side always had so heavy chest i was always built bonded are two different things i think we say big bonded to to oh, okay try to acknowledge us being well bigger. basically if I lost, I lost weight, weight i would still be big bonded because my you're not big bone bonded, structure though. I don't think you're Big Bones. It. You're five three. Big Bones. It is Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal. You're not Big Bones. Oh, you mean tall? Well, that's. Oh, I mean, well. You know what? What? I we we've been saying Big Bones in our community for a long time, and I'm just gonna shout out Dr. Ian, who is a, a doctor in the health world. Who we have, I have talked to him about this this um theory many times, and he said that's just something we say to offset the reality of us needing to lose weight. I just feel like there's too many scorned women in America. That's my point I'm trying to make. I'm not trying to dog out all women, but I'm saying in this country I live in, there's too many women who have been destroyed. Number one demographic on my show, which happens to be single moms. Single moms that are now looking for a different type of guy than their child's father because a lot of um, women they usually focus on the outward characteristics he was tall he was attractive he had swag he had money i had a baby by him now they're realizing the outward characteristics do not matter it's the inward characteristics that matter most when it comes to a relationship so now the single moms are more focusing on the inner characteristics 
and they're looking for this guy, the good guy, the nice guy, who may not have all the outwardly attributes, but now they realize that's what's most important because they have children and they want someone that's gonna be in the home and help them raise their kids by the guy that had the big penis and that was tall and that doesn't wanna be in a relationship, who never want to be in a relationship, if they were to be honest. And I mean, I just wanna point your attention to this lady who's out on a date while she's trying to find a date. Now, I've heard of uh, multitasking, ma'am. I've heard of being proficient in your ventures, ma'am. I've heard of being very productive. But the fact that you think it's okay that you're sitting here talking to this man at dinner because he had to make up because last night was bunk. And these are the situations which make men run. Make men absolutely run. And we haven't even talked about the absolutely delusional single mothers that go into the Kendra G show and have a list of demands and then don't understand that, hey, you're asking for so much. What are you delivering? And these situations come oh so clearly to the average man when you're looking at it. You're like, listen. I would just rather avoid all of this mess in the first place than to deal with someone who's going to be ungrateful. I mean, what are single mothers really looking for? Just like Kendra G said, in most cases, and not all cases, they're looking for someone to be stable because they chose instability to have a baby with. They chose wrong to have a baby with. And if they do that, and if they happen to find this unicorn of a human being, which the men are going to call them something else out there. They better be grateful, thankful. You should drop down to your knees and thank God that someone is actually going to come and assist you in your ventures. But you know, the ethos of the modern woman is that, oh, I can't do 50-50. I'm just going to do 100% by myself. Stupid. Mathematically, I want you to think about that. And there's a list of great stepfathers out there. I mean, Shaquille O'Neal's father, Sarge, did a lot for him. And Shaquille O'Neal speaks to that man with reverence. And he, you know, he raised a giant, a giant of a man, a giant in business, a giant on a basketball court. So, of course, there are situations where this is an honorable thing. But the honor must be given from the woman to the man in this choice. But, of course, the modern women out there. The women in the comments out there, what are they going to say? How dare you? They won't even <coughs> respond to what you said, but they'll tell you about you. I know a who got a baby by a he met and got pregnant by him that week. All the abortions she had, she kept the baby of this one and She kept that baby out of all the ones she killed. And I'm like, do you realize your legacy of what you let pass through your body and what you blocked and yanked out is still playing on you in life? Do you even think about that? Like I'm saying, like it'd be a whole bunch of scoring women. They don't realize that most of the sh is happening to them they brought on themselves. That's, what I was That's all I got for you, you polite savages. Like and subscribe, hit us up on all social media networks. And as always, ask yourself one burning question. Can you handle the tip? We're out. <laughs> we found true happiness.